Hey, it's Norm from Tesla.com. I'm here at Maker Faire 2014 with 3D Robotics. This is Pablo Lima. You're the product manager at 3D Robotics. You guys make real drones that fly themselves. These aren't just quadcopters. These are drones that are autonomous, right? Yes, correct. We make uh, fully autonomous drones that you can tell it to go somewhere in the world. It'll go there until you tell it to come back or it runs out of batteries. So we have a lot of clever, clever technology that makes that happen. Let's talk about te that technology, because okay. you don't just, you do sell one kit that's pre-built, the Iris, and we, yeah. we sell this, this is our pre-built consumer drone. So this enables someone to, for $1,000, pick it out of a box and go and fly somewhere and really experience all the autonomy that we're about and the, and the idea of creating missions, of having the vehicle fly itself, come back home, change direction in flight, all that you can do with this. And this contains all the technologies that we work on. And you can even mount a GoPro on it. You can mount a GoPro, you can hard mount a GoPro, we also sell stabilized GoPros, so you can actually have a gimbal with a, a brushless gimbal that stabilizes the GoPro as well. Well you guys also sell all the individual components that go into making a drone. Yeah. And I want to introduce that to our viewers right now. What does it take to make a drone? What are the components that, that make it live and breathe? So, you can, the very rough parts that you need for a drone are a minimum of a, f a few propellers and motors, typically four, so quadcopters are the easiest ones to build. It could be less, doesn't have to be, but four motors, four propellers. You need one of these. This is known as an autopilot or a flight controller. Uh, and what this has, it has accelerometers, gyros, barometers, there's a bunch of sensors that really tell this, tell this little board where it is in the world. So as I move this around, those sensors inside are detecting that change in position. And now this computer can decide to react or not to react to that. And you complement that with a GPS antenna. So this little GPS antenna, so this thing not only knows if it's leaning left or right, it also knows where in the world it's leaning left and right. So those are the two, three kind of key components. And then you need a frame that carries those three things. But those three things can get you into a drone. So speed controller for the motors, that's all in this one unit right here? No, this does not have a speed controller. So the motors, the propellers, and the speed controllers will be separately. As you can see here, our speed controllers are outside. So you need a propulsion system, which is motors, props, ESCs, a flight controller, a GPS, and some software. And then also to connect to a transmitter. Correct. And then you're going to need, um, if you want to manually control it, you're going to need that RC transmitter, which is more typical of regular RC, but our stuff can be flown directly from a tablet. I don't know if this will show up. What I can do is I'm sitting here and I can look at my phone and, at, um, at Maker Faire and I want to say, I want to fly a mission around here. And literally it'll show a little Google map and I can just draw a circle on the screen and the, all the waypoints get pre-populated. Then I can go in there and I can change waypoints, change, make it go up, go down, stop. It's up to you, like your, your creativity and what you want to do. And you can program it based on conditions, you can yep. activate it remotely, yep. and you don't, like you said, you don't need an RC transmitter for manual control. It's all about planning missions, and, and you can, yep. with the equipment, you can set it to go as far as you need to. Correct. So consumers are a big business for us, but we do a lot of work in commercial and agriculture. Agriculture is a big one, uh, industrial inspection, search and rescue. These are all markets that use our technology. And so for agriculture, we'll put one of these vehicles out in the field. We'll sit there with a tablet, press go, the vehicle will take off, go, it'll map an entire area, say a, a nut farm, come down, and all those images get stitched, and this farmer has a real-time Google Earth view of their field. How much is that flight controller? Uh, this flight controller is just under 300 bucks. And so then you can add things to it, um, you, know, you can add all kinds of peripherals, radios, but it starts at around 300 bucks. And then the Iris, which is self-contained, with the flight controller, and it flies by itself, that's $1,000. It starts at 750 and then you can add a few things, so. Awesome, thank you so much, yeah. Paul. We'll be checking out more 3D Robotics here at Maker Faire 2014. You guys are buzzing around all over yeah, the place. we're flying around. We're flying around, filming some stuff. If you check out the guys at Game of Drones, a lot of them use our technology in there, and the, the, the drones that they're crashing around, they'll see our autopilots in there as well, so. So much fun. Thank you again so much for Thank telling you. us what it takes to make a drone here at Maker Faire. Find more drone stuff on Tesla.com. I'm Norm. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.